Case Study 1. Tourism in Switzerland Location Switzerland extends across the north and south side of the Alps in West Central Europe between latitudes 45 degree and 48 degree north and longitudes 5 degree and 11 degree east. The country is situated in Western Central Europe and is bordered by Italy to the south, France to the west, Germany to the north and Austria and Liechtenstein to the east. It encompasses a great diversity of landscapes and climates on a limited area of 41,285 square kilometers. Physical Features Switzerland has three basic physical divisions the Swiss Alps to the south, the Swiss Plateau or Central Plateau which is densely populated and the Jura Mountains on the west. The Alps are a high mountain range running across the central south of the country comprising about 60% of the country's total area. Among the high valleys of the Swiss Alps, there are many glaciers giving rise to several major rivers such as the Rhine in Ticino and Rhone, which flow in the four cardinal directions into the whole of Europe. Of the 1500 odd lakes, some are the largest bodies of fresh water in central and western Europe, such as Lake Geneva, Lake Constance, and Lake Maggiore. Lakes and glaciers cover about 6% of the national territory. Monte Rosa is the highest peak, although the Matterhorn. 4,478 meters is often regarded as the most famous. Both are located within the Pennine Alps on the border with Italy. The section of the Bernese Alps containing 72 waterfalls of which Jungfrau 4,158 meters is well known. Eger and Monch are famous among the many picturesque valleys in this region. In the southeast, the long Engadine Valley is also well known. Climate The Swiss climate is generally temperate but may vary greatly between different locations from glacial conditions on the mountain tops to a pleasant Mediterranean climate at the Switzerland's southern tip. There are some valley areas in the southern part of Switzerland where some cold hardy palm trees are found. Summers tend to be warm and humid at times with periodic rainfall so they are ideal for pastures and grazing. The less humid winters in the mountains may see long intervals of stable conditions for weeks while the lower lands may face snow and rain. Precipitation tends to be spread moderately throughout the year with a peak in summer. Autumn is the driest season. Winter receives less precipitation than summer. Environment the climatic, geological and topographical conditions of the Alpine region make a very vulnerable ecosystem that is particularly sensitive to climate change. However, due to the efforts of the government and highly conscious and educated citizens, Switzerland ranks first among 132 nations in safeguarding the environment according to the 2014 Environmental Performance Index. All this has been possible due to its high ranking on environmental public health besides its well-developed renewable energy sources such as hydropower from its fast-flowing rivers, geothermal energy from hot springs and its control of greenhouse gas emissions. Economic Development Switzerland is one of the most developed countries in the world with the highest nominal wealth per adult and the 8th highest per capita gross domestic product according to the International Monetary Fund, IMF. Switzerland ranks at or near the top globally in several areas of national performance including government transparency, civil liberties, quality of life, economic competitiveness and human development. Zurich and Geneva have been ranked among the top cities in the world in terms of quality of life with Zurich being ranked second globally. International institutions, Red Cross, Geneva Conventions, 
United Nations Human Rights Council, the Palace of Nations, UN, Geneva, the World Health Organization, WHO, International Labor Organization, ILO, International Telecommunication Union, ITO, United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, UNHCR, World Trade Organization, World Intellectual Property Organization, Bank for International Settlements, BIS, International Basketball Federation, Geneva, Union of European Football Associations, NION, UEFA, International Federation of Association Football, FIFA, Zurich, International Ice Hockey Federation, Zurich, International Cycling Union, Eichel, International Olympic Committee, Lausanne. Tourism Industry Switzerland boasts of very large and well-managed tourist industry of 38.5 billion Swiss francs, CHF, as the total revenue generated by Swiss tourism. With 5,129 hotels and health resorts having 2,72,633 hotel beds and an average of 3 crore 59,33,512 hotel overnight stays and with 2,9800 employees in working in the tourism sector. Factors favoring tourism in Switzerland Switzerland has one of the most picturesque landscapes in the world due to its physical features. The climate is very characteristic with snow-covered mountains. As it has been a neutral country, its heritage in terms of castles, forts and buildings are well preserved. Electricity generated in Switzerland is 56% from hydroelectricity and 39% from nuclear power, resulting in nearly carbon dioxide free electricity generating network. This provides abundant pollution free power to the tourist infrastructure. Switzerland has the most dense rail network in Europe of 5,250 kilometers, carries over 596 million passengers annually, 2015. Virtually 100% of the rail network is electrified and pollution free. The Swiss Autobahn, Auto Route Network, has a total length of more than 1,638 kilometers and has by an area of 41,290 square kilometers, also one of the highest motorway densities in the world. The Swiss Autobahn Auto Route system requires the purchase of Wignet tool sticker, which costs as less as 40 Swiss francs CHS for one calendar year in order to use its roadways for both passenger cars and trucks. Zurich Airport is Switzerland's largest international flight gateway which handles more than 22.8 million passengers. The other international airports are Geneva Airport 13.9 million passengers. Swiss International Airlines is the flag carrier of Switzerland. Its main hub is Zurich. Switzerland has one of the best environmental records and is among the most developed nations in the world. Fact On 31st of May 2016, the world's longest 57.1 km and deepest railway tunnel through the Alps, the Gotthard Base Tunnel, opened as the part of the new railway link through the Alps, NRLA project, after 17 years of work. Case Study 2 Cocoa Cultivation in Ghana Cocoa, the product of the cocoa tree, which is a tropical plant. Cocoa is used for making chocolate and chocolate drinks. Cocoa was first considered to be the food of the gods because of its nutritional value. It was used to prepare chocolate, the national drink of Aztecs living in Central America. Areas of Cultivation of Cocoa in Africa, cocoa is mainly grown in areas bordering the Gulf of Guinea, with Ghana being the largest producer in the world. Ghana alone accounts for about 11% of the world's total production. Other cocoa production countries of Africa are Ivory Coast, Togo, 
Nigeria, Cameroon, and Sao Tome. However, the consumption of cocoa in Ghana as compared to its production is not very high. Conditions favoring cocoa cultivation in Ghana The location of Ghana within 20 degree north and 20 degree south latitudes makes it an ideal place for cocoa cultivation. The conditions that favor cocoa production in Ghana are mean shade temperature of 27 degrees Celsius and diurnal range less than 8 degrees Celsius. Rainfall of about 120 centimeters annually, which is well distributed over the year. Well-drained porous soil. Cultivation of cocoa. To prepare the land for cocoa cultivation, the forest is cleared leaving behind large trees in between to provide shade to the cocoa plants and to protect them from strong winds. Strong winds damage the cocoa pod which grows directly on the trunk and large branches of the tree. Cocoa is grown from the seedlings which are developed in the nurseries. Plants like maize, cassava and preferably plantain, banana-like fruit are grown along with cocoa to protect the young plant from strong winds and direct rays of the sun. Cocoa usually starts yielding after about 5 years and gives a full crop only after about 10 years. The age of cocoa plant is however yet not known. Harvesting The main harvesting season is from September to January, which is the dry part of the year. The yield of the crop varies according to the type of soil, climatic conditions and also the cultivation methods. Normally, each tree produces around 8 pods at the time of the main harvest. Processing Each ripe pod is red or orange in color. It is about 25 cm to 30 cm long and contains around 30 to 40 cocoa beans. After plucking the pod from the tree, the beans are carefully taken out of the pod. The beans along with the sticky pulp that surrounds them are put in heaps and covered with plantain leaves. This allows the fermentation of the beans which results in the development of the chocolate flavor. Then the beans are dried in the sun. It takes about six days for the beans to ferment and dry up. This is when they are ready to be packed and sold. Cocoa Trade Germany is the biggest consumer of cocoa from Ghana followed by the Netherlands and UK. Other importers of cocoa from Ghana include USA, France, Spain, Belgium, Italy and Japan. Takoradi and Tema are the two important ports from where about 96% of cocoa is exported. Both ports have modern harbour facilities.